Welcome back. It's 812 best selling author, public speaker, TV film producer. She does it all. She's very, very busy. And now she has a brand new book that's coming out on the 18th. It's called One Sunday. Carrie Girl like Cecil is back with us this morning. You were here and I said you were pregnant the last time you were here. I and was. your daughter is how old now? She's eight. Can you believe that? Oh, it's eight been years old. Eight years. Okay. So tell me what's been going on with you. You've been so very busy. We are busy. I mean, we were here and now we're up in St. Louis. Right. Chuck is coaching for the Titans. And right. I mean, for the Rams now. He was with the Titans. He was with the course. Titans, Chuck and Cecil. now he yep. is with the Rams. And just busy doing book promotions, and mm -hmm. I'm writing a show for a Lifetime and a little reality show for for we, so I'm keeping busy. That I'm is blessed. So cool. I'm that blessed. Is, that's it's awesome. Doing what I love. Now, first book, uh, Emily's Reasons Why Not. That one went on to become a TV series for a while. So tell me, what is this book about? I know it, it, there has to be a part of you in each one of these books, right? I, I think you write what you know. Right. And at the time, Emily's Reasons was a lot of me and my adventures in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And then this book is really a fish out of water story. It is about an LA transplant, right. similar to my story. And she's a complete crazy person. She's a narcissist, <laughs> she's a tabloid editor. <laughs> she's just everything that you could think about Hollywood and sort of the negative stereotypes. Right. And she moves to the South and she gets transplanted because she's pregnant and her health takes a nosedive and her baby daddy is here. And she makes friends a very um, with an unlikely friendship with an African American pastor and his family, and really? it is their spiritual journey. He leads her um, to Jesus, mm -hmm. and it's about her journey of being a skeptic and going from making fun of them to being one of them. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. And what kind of feedback do you get when you are out on tour? I know you've been doing a lot of speaking, and you always really draw from your experiences and, and trying to get the best of people. I've seen you know, some of the things that you're writing in your blog and whatever yeah. you're putting out there. You really are trying to help people get the best out of themselves, and that's kind of what this journey is about as well. It, absolutely. I'm, the reason that I wrote the book was to show broken people or people who think they've sinned too much or they've done too many things that they can't find the love of God. And I believe in my heart that God loves broken people. Mm -hmm. the, the best stories are those broken people who find redemption and reconciliation and hope. And so my journey now um, as a Christian and as an author is to use the gifts that God has given me mm -hmm. to really tell those people, hey, you know what, you're never too far gone and just keep on trying and, and keep on praying and, and, and there's going to be light for you at the end of the tunnel. Very cool. One Sunday is coming out on the 18th. You said you're liking St. Louis. We definitely <laughs> miss you guys here. What's it like with Chuck being reunited with uh, so many former Titans, including head coach out there? You know, we're blessed. He yeah. gets to do what he loves. And the NFL is a very tough business. And so he's doing that with some of his oldest friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's known Coach Fisher for 20 some odd years. He played for him at the Oilers and, you know, grew up with him in the ranks, started at the bottom and worked his way up. And right. so we love it. And St. Louis, I really believe, is what you make it. And we have great neighbors. We found a great church. Good. And so we're happy. It's not Nashville. We miss you. It's not Nashville. We miss you guys in Nashville. It's well, not. give him a hug when you see him. Thank you so much. Again, new book coming out on the 18th called One Sunday. Carrie Girl, Cecil. Thanks for coming in. Thank Good you to so see much. you. Don't stay away so long next time.